John, a 2-1 win over Maidstone United today and, and obviously it extends the club's unbeaten run as well. Yeah, it's, it's tough, tough game today. We, I thought first half we were good, second half. Um, I thought we looked a bit tired. We had a, a different warm down this week. We haven't done it before. I don't know if it was the right thing to do, to be honest. The players were saying they just got a bit leggy at the end. But it's, listen, they battled on and that's, the, I think, a fantastic thing. Um, they scored a goal, but having that mark, they had much saves to make. I thought we defended well, two centre, well, back four, but two centre aisles, very, very good. Um, and this stage of the season as well, four teams. It's about results, you know. So, uh, pleased with the result. And in terms of, uh, obviously, it's well towards the end, disappointing to see the clean shake go, but in terms of the resilience that the boys showed in the brilliant. No, absolutely. All, all of them. And I thought the organisation, you know, they couldn't get in behind us to get strikes off. We kept them out of the box terrifically, stopped crosses terrifically as well. And uh, we struggled with a couple, with Sparks, he was doing well, he was, he was feeling his hamstring. Uh, Cheeky suffers, Candy see, suffers with a bit of asthma and was, was, was feeling that. And we were a bit limited uh, positional wise on the bench, we many falls. Mason not well today as well. So, um, all in all, it's been a I think they'd call it a, a good weekend. It was a good performance at Gateshead. I thought we were well, well worthy of winning there. That's not the penalty. Other chances that we had, well worthy of, of, of winning. And a very good performance today. A very good result today and a decent performance. As you mentioned there, obviously, about the weekend, and we had to go up to Gateshead. I suppose you would have taken one of four points out. Oh, no, a absolutely. I mean, we're at the stage of the season. Um, well, whenever we play, we're, we're going a hundred percent to win. I mean, most seasons we don't draw many. I don't play to draw. If we're drawing, I try and win. Never settle for a draw. Uh, we try and win. Um, but when, if you get a point away from home, you, you're never disappointed. You might be disappointed you haven't won, but you're not disappointed in the fact that you've got, got a point. And uh, Andre Bucar back with the armband on today. Uh, what's the reason behind that? I just thought I'd change it. Just one of the things, you know give Robbo a little less to worry about defensively and it seems to have worked because we've not really conceded. So it's got a goal as well, which is always nice when you defend the score, And scored a goal, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, obviously going forward now, Woking uh, to come here on Saturday and themselves obviously a much different team to the one that you faced earlier in the season when they were high on confidence, they're probably quite low at the minute. Yeah, they're finding it tough at the moment and but, you know, that makes the opponent dangerous, I always say, you know, people go, but, you know, they... I'm not speaking for them, but probably they don't need to draw. They need to, to try and find a couple of wins. So I would expect them to come here and you know try and attack. So hopefully it's an entertaining game. And like yourselves as well, you know, obviously looking for the win and trying to keep that playoff dream alive. So as you said, hopefully. Well, it's, it's listen, like at, 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 at the moment we've just got to try and get as many points as we can. You know, um, we, we've we've got one or two match winners, but we, we've we've lost our match winners, which can be crucial with you know Morgan um, and, and Corey um, so you know we have to look at other ways where someone can come up with something a little bit different you know we've lost those sort of players so it has to be a team effort and that's what we to try and do but you know please two centre halves have started doing really well Pennell he looks very very good and Robbo we look like we've got a decent pair there full backs are solid you know, we lost Lingy, which was another blow. He was fantastic for us. Uh, we lost Kevin Locko, but we've worked hard to try and find another way, and at the moment we found another way. So.